Bienvenidos. Now we're going to learn about using the numbers that end in one to talk about quantity in Spanish. Um, we talked in another video about how to express quantity and numbers ending in the number one have a special attribute um, to agree with, in gender with the noun that they're talking about. So numbers like 1, 21, 31, 41 uh, have a little different spelling than other numbers. So we know the number one is uno. 21 is 21. Okay. So if we wanted to say there is one, how would we say that? Hay uno. There is one. There is one boy, however, we don't use the word uno. If we're talking about a noun that's masculine, we just drop the O and say uno. Hay un chico. There is one boy. Wait, didn't un also mean a, like a boy? Mm -hmm. So, un has two meanings in Spanish. It can mean a, the indefinite article a, or it can mean or it can mean one. If it's a masculine noun, hay un chico. Any time the number one stands by itself without a noun following, then it's going to be in this form uno. If it's a if you're talking about something masculine or something that we don't know the gender of. Now, if we're talking about a girl, okay, if we know we're talking about something feminine, then uno is going to become una. Hay una. How many girls are there? There's one. Hay una. And so we have to change it in our other sentence. Hay una chica. So una always means one. Hay una chica. There's one girl. Okay. But with uno, if uno precedes a masculine noun, we have to drop the O. So if we want to ask, is there one? Hay uno? Is there a noun following that? No. So we can leave the O on there. Hay uno. And if we're talking about boys or something unknown, then we can say uno. If we're talking about, we know we're talking about girls. Is there one? And we're talking about girls? Then we have to change, what do we have to do? We have to change the gender of uno to una. Hay una. Hay una? If we wanted to ask, is there a boy, one boy? Hay un chico? Is there one boy? If we're talking about girls. Hay una. Hay una chica. Is there one girl? If we want to say there's not one, we can say no hay uno. That's if we're talking about something masculine or something unknown. If we're talking about girls, then we would have to change the gender. No hay una. There isn't one. There isn't one boy. No hay un chico. No hay un chico. There isn't one boy. If we're talking about a girl. No hay una chica. There isn't one girl. There isn't one girl. So these are examples of how to use the number one. And all of the other numbers in Spanish that end in one also follow this same format. So if we have the number 21, 21, and we're just talking about 21 boys, 
we would say 21 chicos. In this example, we're talking about 21 books. 21 libros. So anytime a number ending in the number one has a noun, a masculine noun that comes right after it, it's directly describing the masculine noun, we just drop the O. 21 libros. But if we're talking about something feminine, like chicas, if we had 21 girls, 21 chicas, or casas, and then we have 21 houses, 21 casas, okay? Now you would go to an all-girls school and you have 21 girl students, 21 estudiantes. If we have one student, that's a girl, una estudiante. So, numbers that change depending on the gender of the noun they're talking about are numbers ending in one. The numbers that you need to know, the, the spellings that you need to know are uno, veintiuno, un, veintiun, una, veintiuna.